So, I've been getting a lot of questions whether the Camaro SS is a good daily driver. I'm gonna give you the short answer, no, it's not. But, long answer, I have a lot of errands to run today. I have to go to class, I'm going to class right now, I'm gonna be late, who cares. I have to go to Mako to pick out a new color for this car, and we have to go out to brunch. Gracias. You're welcome. All right, so 120 bucks later, and like three hours later, we finished brunch. I went to class. Mako closes at five o'clock and it's uh, it's 3.56 right now. So I'm gonna head to Mako. We're gonna check out what color we're gonna do for this car. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. We made it just in time and I got the uh, estimate. Pretty expensive, but it's about the same price as Kuro was. Picked out a color. So I'm not gonna spoil it and tell you guys what it is, but you might, you might, you might be able to guess. You might be able to guess. <laughs> but now I'm pretty sure my car is on like 40 miles. Let me see. So yeah, we're at 40 miles right now. We're gonna head to the gas station. We're gonna gas up. I'm gonna show you guys how much it costs. So fun fact, this is the gas station that I took Kuro to when I first got him painted purple. It's some kind of giant or something. Yeah, giant. And I'm somewhere in Bethlehem. I don't know where I am, but um, so yeah, uh, obviously I drive a V8. So my gas is 93. We're at 454. Not horrible in my area, like in Stroudsburg, East Stroudsburg. It's about 470 around there. Um, I do not have a bonus card. So no, this is so annoying. Anyway, so we stopped at 6978, but I like to get a little bit more in there. Let me know when you're filling up your gas. Do you also try to like fill it up to the top? I try to fill them up to the top. Hold on, let me see what I can do here. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Okay. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right. Here we go. Do I want a receipt? No. Okay. Final price, $70.86. And that's probably going to last me a week to a week and a half. So full tank, total mileage, 282. Just for reference, my 2.0 four cylinder turbo. When I had a full tank, I could get about 420 miles. So let that sink in if you really want to daily drive a Camaro SS. Let that one sink in. Oh my God, dog, it's freezing cold. All right, y'all. So those last clips that you saw were from, I think like two days ago. So this video is long overdue. I really want to finish it today. As you can see, I'm crocked up. Yes, your boy does wear Crocs. I thought they were stupid at first too, but my girl just bought them for me and I put them on one time and it was a wrap. <laughs> so now I pretty much wear these all the time especially if I'm going to class or just like grocery shopping or to the gym. Anyway, you guys want to know if the Camaro SS is a good daily driver? The short answer is like low key, no, but you can still daily drive it. For me, and it's just me and my girlfriend. So the only person in my car is my girlfriend. So the interior is pretty basic, honestly, like it's a coupe. So she's the only one who sits in here and the back seats are pretty much unusable unless you're going to put like, you know, small children back there or if you want to put people back there for like a couple minutes for a short drive besides that i don't really have any issues with this with like the seating space because no one's in my car besides me and my girlfriend i do live on the east coast so you know we get snow we get a lot of rain most of the year uh, this car does fine in the rain if you have all season tires like i do on both my camaros i had all season tires and i had no issues i never hydroplane i never like really fucked myself up or anything like that so no issues there in the snow this car is pretty much fine 
It's more like, should you drive a Camaro in the snow? No, but you can. <laughs> I've been doing it for the past four years and I haven't had any serious issues. The only issues I have is coming up this really large hill from my house. Normally when it snows, I have to park my car like at the bottom lot and then just walk up to my house. So yeah, um, besides that, I can still get to work. I can still get to school. I, I mentioned gas mileage a lot in this video. You guys saw I only got about 282 miles to a full tank. For reference, in my four cylinder turbo, my 2019 Camaro, I got about 420, 425 miles on a full tank. So yeah, I mean, take that for what it is. I'm pretty much filling this car up at least every week to every week and a half. You know, I don't really drive this car too far. You know, I only drive around the Stroudsburg, Mount Pocono area. So, you know, I'm not really doing that many miles. My work is 15 minutes away from my house and my school is about 15 minutes away from my house as well. My girlfriend is 10 minutes away from my house and the gym is like three minutes away from my house. So I don't have that many <laughs> commutes that are super long. I guess I'll also go over trunk space. So I do buy groceries in this car and it's just like, a, it's a suitable amount of trunk space for a, for a, a guy, just a guy and his girlfriend buying groceries. If you want even more space, then you can just pull that tab right there and the thing comes down. So, you know, you can, you can put the back seats down, put more space. So one thing that I didn't mention was maintenance. So the only maintenance issue that I've had on this car since I purchased it was that I have to change the tire pressure monitoring sensors. And those are like $40, the OEM ones on Amazon. So yeah, 40 bucks what I put into this car. And then I'm pretty sure, I can't see it from here, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need an oil change. Yeah, I'm gonna need an oil change now, pretty much. <laughs> So oil changes for this car, I think are like 80 to like 120 bucks or something. I don't know. I know for my four cylinder, they were like 60 bucks. So for a V8, I'm going to assume it's like 80 to 100. Maintenance has pretty much been a non-issue with this car. Shout out Chevrolet LS3s. Can you daily drive a Camaro? Yes. If you're on the West Coast, probably have an easier time doing it. The only thing that might stop you would be these freaking gas prices, man. I was looking at my old videos from 20, I think it was 2018 or 2019, 2020, to fill up my old Camaro was 40 bucks. And now filling this thing up, you guys just saw it was 70, but that was because I still had like 40 miles left on an empty tank, completely empty. It's about like 80, like 85, $87, which is double what I was paying three years ago. You know, I don't have that many expenses. I only have my two cars, my phone bill, credit card. Um, it doesn't hurt me that much, but for people with like families, I wouldn't really recommend this car <laughs> unless you have another car that you can, you know, daily drive and not put too, too many miles on this car or not have to strain yourself to like fit like three kids or, you know, the wife and two kids and like a stroller or a car seat or whatever the fuck, you know, you know, like that would be kind of a pain to daily drive this car and then do all that stuff with your family and everything. But for a single guy or for a guy with like no friends or for a guy with just a girlfriend or a wife or whatever, you'll be all right, you'll be chilling. And then for my East Coast people, should you <laughs> drive your sports car in the snow? Probably not. So I guess my answer, can you daily drive a Camaro? Yes. Should you? Probably not. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to love yourselves. Don't forget to love your car. Don't forget to protect your peace and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.